give the floor to Mr. Pribatish. You've got five minutes. Mr. Uh, Vice uh, President, Minister, it's time to light up the stars. I wanted to begin with um, this line from Guillaume Apollinaire to show you how important it is for the European Parliament to relaunch its space policy. For more than 30 years, the European Union and its member states have been contributing towards a space policy. Sadly, little by little, this policy has stopped being so uh, lit up, as it were. And uh, since 2003, um, we got, we've had the ECESA um, framework agreement, and then the Space Council of May 2007 was it, it happened within the framework of the programme. But it's not been enough. The independence of Europe, its role on the international stage, security, prosperity, all these things suggest that we ought to be going for this trump card that we have, which can create growth and which is ambitious. If we want scientific, cultural, economic influence on the international stage, this is the way of doing it. This is a vector for the knowledge-based society that we are working towards. We've got an institutional triangle in the Union. We don't want that to become a Bermuda Triangle. And as far as the European people are concerned, Parliament ought to be playing an active role in working on and defining this policy. It's high time to light up the stars again. On, in December 2008, the Council is going to be involved in doing something, and we'd like to do our bit too. On behalf of the Committee on Industry, Research and Energy, we are speaking in that spirit. We need to follow our star and it's vital to go back to basics when it comes to space policy. First of all, the budget. We call for a budget line specifically designed to demonstrate how committed we are to space policy in Europe. The space industry needs public support, adequate support, to increase research and development capacity. I mean, it has to remain profitable, uh, and so it needs that. Uh, the competition is tough out there. The US, Russia, Japan, and even India now are putting huge amounts of money into their space industries. They're doing much more on the public procurement front, and yet we are still desperately seeking um, funding to attain our ambitious goals. And um, it's really um, in search of time lost, as it were. But we need to call upon the Commission to see the space industry as a major player because we have a challenge out there and we from the launchers to the service provision we've got a strategic side too to this we've got Galileo Egnos uh, GMES and we need efficient structures there with clear governance so that we can be more effective in respect of all our space programs. The last thing is space exploration. What is the long-term vision for space policy and what are our goals? Going into outer space takes a long time. You need to be ambitious to conquer outer space. And I would echo President Kennedy's speech Let's have a new frontier that we can cross. Uh, let, when he spoke about the moon, that was key to our civilization. The, this is, means progress for all our industries, because um, there's a spin-off for other industries. Let's take a long-term vision. Let's pull together with all the nations. We are at the starting point of a long march. We are at a crossroads in respect of space policy. Space has uh, a lot more scope than it ever had before. There are more applications, scientific activity, defense activities. Space covers all sorts of activities. It's a broad spectrum, environmental protection or SMEs. They're all involved. So let's get closer to the users. Let's improve the vi viability of our um, data. Let's become leaders in this, in the world space market. It's important for future generations that we strengthen our European space policy, that we make these important choices to put future generations into orbit so that they can live in an avant-garde futurist Europe. Space is our new European frontier. 
the big the book of history is open and uh, there are these blank pages but we must write on these pages we must be a major player it is high time to relight the stars merci beaucoup monsieur jouillot non du thank you sir jouillot for, for the commission for the council rather okay thank you mr Minister, Mr. Feigen, ladies and gentlemen, honourable members, uh, Mr. Prebitich, 